I just got back from Big Bear. I recommend these ones. These ones all right feel and look so much better. This is the turkey sausage stuffing fried rice. Really wanted to decorate like November 1st with a truffle pesto and Parmesan. back home and I need a coffee. We left so quickly this morning for Spartacus but I haven't had my coffee yet. Do pumpkin. Spartacus is eating his food if you guys can hear that. We got back like first thing in the morning because we just had our sitter through last night so we need to get back first thing. All right it's actually kind of a double shot kind of a day so another shot in there. I'm putting an extra shot in my coffee because it's that kind of morning. We got up so early. I'm so exhausted. We wanted to get back here before 10, which we need to switch all of our clocks. It was daily savings last night, but we wanted to get back here before 10 because it's far. So we woke up at like 6.30, left by 7, drove down the mountain, which was so stressful. But just in general, obviously, we're just like so exhausted. It was a long weekend. <laughs> it was a very, very long weekend. I had the best time. It was so much fun. Like having the whole wedding be like a weekend at a cabin with friends and family was so lovely, but it just like felt like it was nonstop. Go, go, go up until the last day. The last day was so much fun because we were just chilling, hanging out. I mean, you guys saw the vlog. We went to the village and stuff. Although if you haven't seen the vlog and you're new here, I just got back from Big Bear. We were there for a wedding. So definitely check out those vlogs. I have two vlogs of Big Bear up. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so tired right now. But I am grateful to have my coffee back. Though I do have to say, the cabin had one of those Breville espresso machines, you know, the ones that are like so crazy expensive that all like the big YouTubers have. And now I kind of want a Breville espresso maker. Although I do feel like I have more freedom with my Nespresso, but oh no, there it goes. Okay, I'm spilling. All right, I'm gonna concentrate on this coffee for right now. So I got in some packages while we were out that I do a little unboxing. This first one, I think that this is, for Spark. This is just from Amazon. Yep. These joint supplements. Because of his arthritis. This next one, I think, is Amazon as well. Oh, yes. I had been hoping that these would come before we left, but they did not. So I had to use my shitty versions. But these are dupes for the Birkenstock Boston clogs. You guys might have seen, I was wearing a pair of dupes during the trip. These guys, which I do not recommend. I'm not even gonna bother telling you guys where I got them from. I recommend these ones. These ones already feel and look so much better. The top piece feels like paper. Like they're so terrible. So I'm just gonna leave those in my car for like emergency shoes. But these ones are so much better. They actually have cushioning like this one is like rock hard in here and stuff. Sorry, Trevor's like blowing his nose upstairs. And then the upper on this actually feels like suede. So these are so much better. I'm gonna rock these today instead because I need to run errands. We're doing a post-vacation reset in this vlog. So we gotta like run errands, get the house back in order. Luckily we cleaned top to bottom before we left. We always do because of Spartacus's dog sitter. She stays here, so we always make sure to clean up the place. So it's nice to also come home to like a clean home. So I luckily don't have to do any cleaning or anything like that. Our bed sheets are fresh, which is nice. We always give her the option of the bed or the couch and she always chooses to sleep on the couch. So at least, you know, bed sheets and blankets are fresh and clean, which is so nice. And then this next one, I think I know what this one is. Yep. This one is from Cuts Clothing. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I'm working with them for a different vlog, but I can show you guys really quick. They sent me two pieces, two basic t-shirts, and I'm running out of battery. I may have to grab battery. 
another battery from the car. All of our stuff is still in the car, but got one t-shirt. Both of them are cropped. Like I said, this is for a different video, so I'll give you guys a better look then. But that one is in kind of like a beige. And then I also got it in white. So you guys will see that coming up here in a couple of vlogs. But I'm so excited. I've been hearing so much about cuts. And so when they reached out, I was like thrilled. Okay, and then this one is from Shoe Dazzle. This is my Shoe Dazzle PR for this one. Got a few things in this one. I went a little big with my PR order. All my muscles hurt. Oh, man. Okay, so the first one is to wear for my birthday trip. Trevor and I actually just both. I got the Maya knee-high boots. I have these in brown already, but I got them in the white because I think that they look so cool in white. I plan on styling them with a black dress, and I like the fact that the heel is a little bit shorter, so I'll be able to walk in it all night on the trip. And then, got a second pair of shoes. I have been needing some plain, everyday, brown or beige booties and these are perfect for what i've been looking for what's the name of the style these ones are the isla and portabella if, in case you guys are interested i'll put it in the description below like an extra link and then i got two pieces of clothing from them the first one it's like a ribbed mock neck black long sleeve but the long sleeves are like a bell sleeve and you can see this is actually kind of like long on me but you guys see the shape it's like a little bell sleeve i thought that that was such a fun detail so i could probably actually style those with my leggings i have on right now that look cute also with like the maya boots but like a pop of white at the bottom and then i got another top this one is more of a sweater but it's actually supposed to be off shoulder it's like got this really wide neckline in this beige color it would go so cute with like jeans and the second boots that i showed but just a cute little autumn fall top but yeah that's everything that i got while i was out and then now i have to put together a menu for the week so that i can then put together a grocery list figure out what i need to get i also want to go to Trader joe's because the holiday stuff is out so i want to get some holiday stuff from Trader joe's but first i gotta go get my stuff from the car because like i said your battery's about to die. So I've been out and about. I got groceries and then I also went to Trader Joe's to check out some new things that I saw on TikTok. Well, I shouldn't say new necessarily. New and returning things that I saw on TikTok that I wanted to get or try. So got a few things. I'll show you the new things that I got from Trader Joe's. I also stocked up on a couple of basics, but I know that those aren't exciting because I get them all the time. So I'll just show you guys the new stuff when I get home. But I'm picking up sushi for trevor and i although while well, he's getting sushi i got udon because i don't know what it is i thought that it would feel so so warm here when we got back from the mountains because it's freezing up there right now but y'all i am so cold i was wearing my puffer vest the entire time that i was grocery shopping i was even getting like looks from people because it's 70 degrees and i'm in a freaking puffer vest and i'm just i'm so cold i like it's like taking a while for my body to like warm up so i didn't want sushi i wanted soup truthfully i wanted like a thai wonton soup and crab fried rice but the thai place that is biased that I really want to order from is closed on Sundays apparently so I settled for shrimp Whoa there bro Whoa. So I just settled on shrimp tempura udon which honestly that sounds so fucking amazing So I'm gonna stop and pick that up right now before I head home You got the goods you guys I am so excited for soup. Honestly, I've wanted soup all weekend because we were in the mountains, it was snowing, and then when it wasn't snowing, it was freezing. But soup was just not on the menu, which like I wasn't mad about because we got like really, really yummy pizza. We got an amazing dinner for the wedding and the rehearsal dinner. Oh my God. Oh, I left my ribs there. That's fine. That's a bummer though, because I really want the mashed potatoes, but that's okay. Anyways, not complaining about the no soup because we had really good food, but I think my body was just like ready. It was like, look, you've had me freeze all weekend. You need to feed me soup now. 
So here's the spread from Trader Joe's of like the newer things that I got. One thing that I got that I did tell you guys about last time I got stuff from Trader Joe's was this sparkling green apple water. I got a refill of it. You guys, this flavor is so good. I know it sounds unusual to do green apple flavored water, but it's like my favorite one from them now. I'm so glad I took a chance on it. Highly recommend. But everything here is like new or I don't typically get it. So starting over here, this is new. Truffle season is upon us at Trader Joe's. The mushroom and truffle flavored pesto is back. And when I went to the regular grocery store, I picked up some main lobster ravioli. So I think I'm going to do that with this. I think that that would be so good. Like such a decadent, amazing dinner. I also got chicken shawarma thighs because I want to do some Mediterranean bowls for dinner. I got my favorite fried rice. I haven't had this in such a long time, but this is my favorite make at home fried rice. This is the Japanese style fried rice. It's got edamame, tofu, and hijiki seaweed or something like that. You barely taste the seaweed, but this fried rice, you guys, it's literally the best one ever. Go get it. I had to stop getting it for a while because I will literally eat the entire bag in one sitting, but I kind of want to treat myself. Then I've always been very curious about this. This is the turkey sausage stuffing fried rice. This is a seasonal item around Thanksgiving, obviously, but every year that it comes out, I'm curious about it, but I never want to actually get it. So I just said, you know what? This time we're going to get it and we're going to try it. We're going to see what it's all about. Worst comes to worst, I just don't like it and I don't get it again. Then I have the pearled couscous for the Mediterranean bowls that I'm going to make. Then this is new. I saw this on TikTok. This is the chocolate peppermint loaf and baking mix. Oh, apparently you can make cookies with it. Oh, shit. You can make crackle cookies with it? I've always wanted to make crackle cookies. Okay, I would need eggs, but everything else I have. Wait, I don't have powdered sugar. Maybe I'll do this as crackle cookies. That sounds like that would be really good. So probably going to do this in an upcoming vlog. Not sure which, but keep an eye out for it. Then these have been out of stock for forever. And I was so excited when I saw that they were back. The Crunchy Curls. I used to get these in every single Trader Joe's haul. And then all of a sudden they literally disappeared from shelves for like half the year. And I've been so sad about it. But they're back. They've restocked and I'm so excited. So I had to grab a bag. These are, I think, new. I haven't seen these before. But they're umami flavored corn tortilla chips. I thought that that sounded very interesting so give that a try and then finally this is like a favorite that I get every once in a while I try not to get too much but the reduced fat cheese puffs they're basically like lighter Tito puffs but there's something about the cheese flavor on this that I just like really like in particular but that was all the new stuff I got from Trader Joe's that wasn't like a refill of things that you guys see me get all the time I'm gonna put all of this away then I'm gonna assemble my udon so I can have lunch and why am I red here that's so weird I think I'm just like stressed from traveling and just like from such a big event slash weekend that my body's like going crazy right now. I need a relaxing day for sure. Got my udon. Put this in here. So glad I have the ramen bowl for this. I also got sushi rice. I'm not putting this in the soup. This is just on the side. Luckily, this is still pretty hot. Ooh, yeah, super hot. Oh wow, they put a lot of veggies in their udon. We used to do udon just basically coming with noodles. And then I got the shrimp tempuras. I don't know if I want to put it in and like let them soak. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to kind of like dunk them and eat them separately a little bit because they also came with the tempura sauce. I don't even know what all of these veggies are. I'm so thrown off. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. Imagine being up in the mountains in the snow for a few days and coming home and having this. Ugh, lovely. And then... The good soy sauce like the legit soy sauce I'm just gonna do it over the rice so i'm gonna eat lunch and finish editing the big bear vlog not the wedding vlog but the wedding prep vlog that went up before this although both the wedding vlog and the wedding prep vlog will have gone up by the time this vlog goes up but right now that video is late i had warned everyone it was going to come out in the evening because i had no time to edit while I was there. It was just go, go, go. So I need to go edit that and finish that so I can still have a video go up today. Y'all, daylight savings has thrown me so off. I'm so exhausted. My body doesn't even know what's going on. Well, it's a mix of such a long, long weekend. Tiring weekend, fun weekend, but tiring weekend. Plus the travel, plus daylight savings on top of that. I'm just so tired right now. Working on getting some new stuff in our living room vase. Oops. Turn on the water after it's in here. And also too, like I said earlier, we had cleaned the house 
top to bottom. It was pristine. Half a day here, it's a disaster zone again. My doing, my doing. But it's fine, I'm trying to make it prettier. I just went with the same little fall decor plants as last time because these lasted a pretty decent amount of time and whatever I put out there needs to last through the next three weeks because I don't want to change it out again because in three weeks, we're switching to Christmas decor guys. I can't believe it, oh my God, that's so insane. I really, really wanted to decorate like November 1st, but I like to save that until Vlogmas. I just feel like it's the perfect way to kick off Vlogmas. And then also too, Trevor hates like early Christmas vibes. And normally I would disagree with him, but like I said, because of Vlogmas, I just say, okay, and I wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait, but I do. Like I said, I just feel like it's the perfect kickoff content for vlogmas to like shop for christmas decor and decorate the only problem is like the christmas decor that's left but i mean i'm not waiting all the way until december 1st i'm gonna probably shop like right after thanksgiving so hopefully there will be like some decor left i don't know maybe i'll like shop throughout the month and just kind of like keep everything to the side and do a haul i don't know i don't know but yeah basically i just wanted an arrangement that i won't have to change out again until it's time to put out the Christmas stuff. This is actually looking really nice. We're just using all filler only. Cool, simple, but pretty. And then I also got some new eucalyptus for the downstairs bathroom. I literally haven't replaced that eucalyptus in months. It's just been dried eucalyptus in there, so. Luckily, you can lift this deal once it dries. You can kind of like leave it there for a long time, but I wanted to switch it out and get like the fresh scent. So I'm gonna go put these out. By the way, I wanted to give a little follow up on these Birkenstock Boston Clog dupes. These are absolutely wonderful. I love them. I mean, I told you guys earlier, like quality wise, the uppers feel really, really good, but inside it is cushioned so well they're so comfortable and the arch support on these is insane the night and day difference between these ones and the shit dupes that i originally got is so crazy i love these so much i highly recommend these like if you guys wanted the boston clogs but you didn't want to pay the price of the boston clogs i can't recommend these enough i love them so much obviously they'll be linked down below and i highly recommend getting them they're like my new favorite thing ever now so i'm just gonna make myself like a quick light dinner because the udon with the rice was definitely heavier and also I feel like I'm gonna go to bed earlier just because of the time change. So I don't want anything too, too heavy, but like I mentioned earlier, I got this like main lobster ravioli. So I'm gonna have this along with trying the Trader Joe's mushroom and truffle flavored pesto. I hope I like this because if I'm putting this sauce all over this and it sucks, I will have ruined a batch of lobster ravioli. I will be very upset. So this may not be like necessarily correct, but I'm just gonna warm up some of this truffle pesto over a low flame just because I don't wanna put cold sauce on fresh pasta. Just let that warm up in there for a little bit. Oh, that actually warmed up really, really fast. Okay. Mmm, but oh my God, that smells super truffly, like in a good way. Okay, I'm here for it. This might be a new favorite. I'm sad it's seasonal. But let's load in the... In the Raviolis. This is gonna be delicious. I, I can feel it, I know it. So just heads up, heating it like separates out the oil. So just know that you're gonna do that if you heat it, but it's all good. And then I actually have this mushroom flax salt that I think would be good. Just like sprinkle a very little bit over top. Then of course, Parmesan. Okay, this is hands down the most decadent quick dinner in the history of all dinners. I mean, we've got main lobster ravioli with a truffle pesto and Parmesan. Like that's something you would order in a restaurant, you know? Give it a quick try. Oh my God, how are we out of forks and we haven't been staying here? That's so crazy. Oh my God, this bite looks so good. Oh my god. 
I need to go back and get another bag of this ravioli because I want to have this like every night. That is so good. Oh my god. Mm. And you guys, the truffle pesto on its own, if I put that over just like plain pasta, it would still be like amazing. But honestly, this combo is like a 10 out of 10. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm like fighting to stay awake, so I'm just gonna finish my dinner, probably go to bed. So thank you guys for watching, hanging out with me for this post vacation slash post wedding weekend recovery. I'm I'm so tired, but it was so worth it in the best way possible because it was such a fun weekend and just like so special. But it has taken a lot out of me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.